it's almost like a silent chair. Laser just refer to these beam of photon that, that are marching in, in, in place. You know, so this very strong and directed light. So you need some special condition to make that happen. And then when it happens, of, of course you don't hear a chair, but all of a sudden you get this bright light emission out of a, a cavity, a black box, if you will. And that's very exciting for people who worked on it for days and all of a sudden it started working. Right? So that's what I like about optics. It's almost like playing with Legos. To have all this component on your table and mirrors, polarizers, and you're always changing it. Right, you're always uh, trying to build an experiment that measures something differently or measures uh, something better. So you're all, it's not like a big chamber that you rarely, you rarely go inside and make some, make some change. With optical experiment, you're constantly changing your component. When you do research, when you ask a question, first of all, you need to ask a good question that are meaningful. Secondly, you need to ask a question that's somewhat manageable, right? That with all the tools that are available in the world today, you have a chance to answer that question. But prior you start that journey, you don't know. It's almost like running a marathon without knowing where the finish line is. So you really just have to be very persistent. I've always grown because I've been doing things I didn't know what I, I, I'm capable of and I'm stretching for a goal that I don't know whether I can reach. Right? But I, I try, I do my exercise every day, but eventually I reach that, I reach that goal. Then I adjust that goal a little bit, right? and put a higher goal for myself and, and start going pursue that next goal. So I think that process has, has, has been a, you know, a process with a lot of personal growth.